I'm gonna show you how you can add a promotional banner to your website. A promotional banner is often used when you want to announce something for your site visitors. It could be that you have launched a new product or service, that you are booking a specific time, uh, if you want someone to sign up for your email list or anything. And it's often placed here on top of your page as a small, small, I could show here on my own website. It's a small, small banner, a small piece of text uh, where you highlight something you want to specifically promote when somebody uh, land on your page. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And here is my root uh, website template and we are going to add a banner up here. So uh, we start here. Uh, we are at the home page, the first page, and we are clicking the three dots and we want to add a new blank canvas. This one is added at the bottom. But as I said, we want it up here. So we simply click and then we drag it all the way up there. As you can see, it's a little bit too wide. So we are going to make it a little bit smaller up here. I think that will be good. Uh, we also want it to have a little brighter color. We want it to stand out. We want it to grab attention. So we're going to change the background color to something more uh, yeah, darker like this because the template itself is very soft in the colors, so we want something darker. And then we are customizing it by adding text. So I think we need to change the, the color and the size. And then we can just write now booking 2023 like that. Oh, make it longer. And Oops, uh, we can also just add an uh, arrow as instead of a link or something, we're using the arrow. Like that, and we want that dark as well. Maybe we can <laughs> make it a little bit larger, a little bit easier to work with. Uh, we want to centralize that on the page. So now we have written or text and adding or link. Oh, of course, we're going to have a, call to act, uh, a click action here. We want that to sorry, go to the contact page. So, so when someone is clicking, they get into the contact page. Now uh, I can show how it looks like. This banner is now on top. And if somebody scrolls, it disappears. And here you have a choice. Uh, as you saw on my website, this one when I'm scrolling, it's sticky. It still stands there. It doesn't disappear. Uh, so if you want it to just follow when somebody is scrolling, that's fine. Then you are done. This is your banner. But if you want it to be on, as like on my website, you want it to be sticky, you are clicking on this canvas and then you go on, up in here in the canvas menu under sticky and choose tap on scroll. That means that when you're scrolling, it will be sticky on the top. So I can show you and you will also see now that ah, it doesn't really work as expected. It's still disappearing. And that is because the stacking order, as we can see here, we have stacking order zero and on this menu canvas, it has stacking order one. This stacking order is like layers that the one that has the lowest numbers, as in this case, zero, that's in the bottom and everybody or all canvases that has higher numbers will be stuck up on them in that uh, number order. So what we need to do is to have a higher number on our banner to be placed above this uh, uh, canvas that is under. So that one has one and that has two. Then we, uh, or then we put it as two because now that one will be above that one. And this is a point here is if any other canvas on your page is having a higher number, this one needs to be the highest. I built this now, uh, this website, so I know there is no, no other canvas on this page that is higher. So two will be enough for us, but uh, have a check. And if, if it doesn't work, just to pay attention to the stacking order. Another thing I want to mention when you are having it as a sticky on the top is that it could be a little bit annoying. Uh, if you are scrolling and now you, you don't want to book for 2023, you, you want to read, you want to get rid of this banner. It's, it's annoying when it's following. I want to take it away. Then we can just add, we can add another icon here first uh, as uh, for a close, I think it close it. Oops. Wait. 
make it larger <laughs> it's easier <laughs> it's much easier so and we can place it there and we want it to be white and here we can also uh, size and position i want to add it i want to lock it to the edge because if we don't i can show you now we have this x closing x in the middle here but i i want it out here in the corner and then I want to lock it in there. Then you see, it will always, it's locked to the corner. It will always be in the corner. Uh, so, but now we want to add the action. We're not going to add a link. We're going to add an action. So we are adding one. And the type is that we want to hide this canvas because we want it to be removed. And the canvas that we want to be removed is this canvas. So if we now take a preview, scrolling with and now I want to get rid of it Ta -da! so this is your choice if you want to have it constantly following your page or if you want to add this uh, 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 a closing link uh, I suggest a closing link because I, I can just talk for myself but I find it extremely disturbing when you have all the things that's coming up and are in your way when you apparently not are interested so uh, this is a good it's for being user friendly and what's left to do is to optimize the mobile version you know as it's so fantastic to have this uh, freedom with showy that you can design the, the mobile version independently but it's also a little bit frustrating because when you think that you are done you just go back and then you see your mobile versions like oh shoot i had that one too uh, but it's easily done so uh, all the settings uh, are the same with, uh, with the click actions and um, so that it's just to rearrange everything I should also add another color to the background and to the text um, these two and this white Now, when both the mobile version and the desktop version is looking fine, uh, we are going to convert this to a side canvas. And I can see before we do that, we're going to rename this one because we like to have everything in as organized as possible. So we name it to banner because then it's so much easier for us to know which canvas this is all about. And then we go down to convert to side canvas. And if you're not familiar with what a side canvas is, it's when you see a canvas having this stripe pattern. That means that when you make a change here, it will appear on all the places this canvas is placed. You can see all your side canvases here under the side menu. And this is great because as now I'm gonna copy this uh, canvas we have created and say we want it on the blog page as well. We go in under the blog and then we paste this that we name banner. It always appear in the bottom so we move it up and now we here have it here as well. So say for example okay now I'm booking 2020. If we make we can just make a simple change here we say we change the color of the arrow. And now when that is done here we are on the blog page but if I go back to the home page that change has happened here too. So now you can just place this banner on every page you want it to appear. It will work and look exactly the same on all pages. And if you want to update this, say that you now want to start to promote your freebie, you are changing that text and the link to the freebie sign up page. And that will appear on all pages you have added this banner. So you don't need to go in for each page and change it. So that's all. <laughs>